nestled beside a meandering river in the heart of the Portuguese mountains, an exquisite historical mansion, a relic of the late 18th century, stands resolute. This mansion, constructed on a solid square plan, was once the esteemed residence of Mr. Francisco Emilio and his extensive family. Francisco hailing from the illustrious Brazilian Pimentel lineage, had spent years in military service. Upon retirement, he purchased this property, dedicating his life to the serene pursuits of agriculture and viticulture. The mansion still cradles priceless antique wooden furniture from across the globe, bearing intricate dragon motifs, a tribute to the Pimentel family's heraldic legacy. Amongst the remnants of time, we uncovered the solitary medical records belonging to Nilsa dated 2003, possibly the last inhabitant before abandonment befell this grandeur. Today we embark on an exploration, revealing the derelict beauty of this forgotten mansion, breathing life into its silent history. Today's video is sponsored by something special. With the historical places we explore and also with the research that goes into creating our videos, we get a lot to do with family history. Finding out information about family histories tells us who these people were and what they used to do with their time. And sometimes we even have these questions for our own. So for that reason, we proudly want to announce that we partnered with MyHeritage for today's episode. MyHeritage is the number one family history service. It is a platform that allows you to build out your family tree and find out new things about your origins. Even if you don't know much about your family history yet, MyHeritage and its large database can find out tons of new discoveries for you. So as you can tell over here, we have my family tree and you can just add all your own family members by clicking on the plus button and you can even add a photo to each family member and that's what I'm gonna do right now with myself adding a picture right here now let's take a larger look at my family tree that has already been created there are over 90 plus billion documents that can give you information about your family members and using the discovery function of instant discoveries you can find new information like me with one single click and in this way I found out that I actually have great grandparents that were born in Germany and not in the Netherlands. One of its craziest features is that you can repair, colorize, enhance 
and even animate pictures of your old family members to really give you an idea and realistic experience on how they used to look. It's almost terrifying. My heritage brought Moreno some surprising results and I can't wait to see mine. And I guess right now, same counts for you. So for that, we will drop down a link down in the description where you can gain access to a 14 day free trial of my heritage and find out more about your own family tree. If you decide to continue after your free trial, my heritage will give you a 50% discount on a yearly subscription. So with that all said, once again, I really want to thank my heritage for sponsoring today's video and now Let's go right into the explore. What a view from here, bro. What a view, man. What a view. Another day. A day of exploring. Uh, a place that's located here next to this incredible river valley. So scenic over here. Mm -hmm. So we're actually on our way to a wonderful abandoned mansion that's still completely furnished and it's located at the end of the cul-de-sac that we're about to enter. And I think I already see the gate. It's actually not a cul-de-sac. It's actually the driveway to the place. I don't know if the house next to it is still in use. Well, that one is definitely still inhabited. Are you ready? We really have to go this way. Oh, we have no other choice. Again. Is this house also abandoned? Freak is that house, man. Let's wait there for a bit. Because the people are there. And if they haven't seen us, we still have a chance of getting here unseen. And as a matter of fact, there are bulls at the property. But I hope not in this car. Let's just wait in peace. Is this the house? It's all the way up there. Walk this road. Hmm? I saw the neighbor over there in the garden. They live right over there. Looks like we passed stage one. Damn, bro. That was freaking difficult. People were so deep in the conversation. Alright, bro. They didn't even notice us. Nah. Well, we need we to be careful. We the fence. We literally passed them. Alright, bro. I really want to get around that corner. Yes, that man over there you can also still take a look at us. We did it. <laughs> like Infiltration time. Oh guys, so yeah, we obviously didn't talk a lot, but the neighbors were just in the front garden and we were in another garden to get on the road to the property. And then there was another man working in the garden over there. It was crazy. But I already see a chapel in front of us and I believe, yeah, this is the house too. Wow. 
Wow. Well, this is the house. I think it is the house, yeah. Well, first of all, we have a chapel. It's just open. Wow. Check this out. <gasps> wow. It's beautiful, man. It's amazing, bro. Yeah, it is. Look at the ceiling. GHS, it's saying over there. There was even black mold on the ceiling. And this used to be a little altar where probably one of the prayers would actually be, or the priests. Also very nice walls. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. A little bit of mossy wall as well. It's completely green. Wow, massive altar, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do think this was definitely the place where you used to pray. Yeah, for sure. Back then. If you have a private chapel like this, it was probably again, noble people actually owning the place or at least wealthy people, a well-to-do family. Crazy start this video, bro. All right. The mansion is going to be even more insane. I would say let's hop in and uh, see what we can find. But there is actually an active farm right next to this. Really? I do think so. Hmm. I'm wondering where, because on satellite this place is completely secluded, Raymond. No. Okay. Well, it's actually a pretty warm day today. But uh, definitely better than summertime right now. We're visiting Portugal in spring. And we have the mansion right underneath us here. That's the mansion. Yeah, of course. All right, all right. Were you thinking that this was the house? Yeah. This is a shed, bro. I was thinking that, man. It's so. obviously a shed. This is the mansion. We can already see that some of the outbuildings are actually dilapidated. Oh, Sadly the enough, they haven't survived the passage of time. Oh the my view, gosh. Man. Bro, the view from here. Unreal. Marvelous. <laughs> wow. We have the mansion right down this slope. A little corn crib over here and a year <coughs> carved in the stone. 18 on this corn crib. There is even still corn inside. What? Oh, I've yeah. never seen that. I didn't even knew that you had like corn cribs. Okay. That's crazy. I've never seen the corn still inside. And there is plenty more. Check this out. Wow, that's just magical. <sighs> Beautiful, right? Man, imagine living here. Yeah. like we've taken a difficult route again. As we always do. Oh yeah, we're explorers. We never ask for information how to enter because that's just part of the game. That's your opinion. <laughs> I like it. I like a challenge. Otherwise it's boring man, it's tourism. True that. Because we could have easily just went through the garden, like through the bushes. But we went through the garden of someone else and another person. Oh yeah, this place is beautiful from the inside. Yeah, for sure. I already see it. Then we gotta find a way in. Looks like the door is just open. You only have this little iron wire, but that's all. Just the walk in the door. All right. Like I'm telling you, this place is not much to worry about, Raymond. 
easy as it gets. Yeah, bro. Let's enter and let's explore. Let's explore, man. So we start off at the entrance of this place and actually it's quite funny. It's just a square. Yeah. So I'm just gonna walk the square. I would say so and then... And maybe uh, there is a shed but we actually don't know but I think there is also a shed down beneath here. All right. Honestly. All right. Okay, okay. But most Portuguese buildings they have it, you know. We will find out, we will find out. We will have a look but first of all, yeah, this uh, you can tell the main entrance and we place our stuff over here. What we immediately see are of course some holes in the ground. Yeah, the wood is very rotten. Yep. This used to be part of a washing table. And then over there will be the mirror. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And coat then we rack. Have, uh, the coat rack. Ooh, damn. <laughs> it's uh, oh, look at all the signs of wood warm. Yeah, it's in a proper bad state, man. Damn. Little frame over here. Yeah. Perspectiva da Serra do Pilar. Don't know where it is. Probably nearby. Yeah, could Actually, be. Actually, looks like Porto with the bridge. You don't think so? The bridge of Porto. Yeah, 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 yeah. It actually looks like Porto. City in the north of Portugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Well, I would say just let's uh, walk on. We have uh, the clumps. Well, not real clumps, but type of shoes. Definitely from a farmer. And I'm just going to make my way over here. And to show you what this place looks like. Little chest over here. Yeah, little chest with some books in it. Wait, there was a frame, but it's completely broken. Yeah, I think again this is Porto, man. Yeah, it's uh, Porto. <coughs> Maybe that's the place where they were born. Yeah, could be, could be. What is this? Cigar box? Cafe creme. Maybe some coffee cigars? Yeah, I do think so. Henry Wintermans. It's a Dutch name actually. Sound Dutch, yeah. Instituto Industrial do Porto, 1971. Damn. Maybe they did something within the industry, industrial revolution of Porto. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be, man. Lendas e narrativas. There's actually some stories. Cool. There's not much uh, left of that thing. Lisboa, Pimentel is in the inside. Yeah, it's just a reading book. Oh, nice. Narrativas, narration, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, There's actually some Portuguese words that we can derive. Some, some. Look at this, made out of straw. It's actually a, a bull. Yeah, yeah. But we heard that there were also <coughs> bulls somewhere in the garden, but we haven't seen them. So maybe right now out of the season, they were not here? Well, did they are there? down at the back, but uh, probably they were in the garden once. Look at this clock. <clears throat> nice, right? Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> I think it was actually some kind of copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. <clears throat> and then we have this uh, very vintage television. Grundig. Super color. So probably the first color television. And then uh, on top over there, it's, uh, well, it's not a painting actually. Looks like a plate where they served dishes with. Yeah, yeah. Well, the gas tanks, of course. Freezer. That's no empty. food, luckily. <laughs> luckily, it's empty. Oh, damn. Check this out, guys. Roots are coming in. Man. Yeah, the torn vines are just merging through the door that's crazy actually leading to the inner courtyard right here as you can see we have some parts of the shed to explore but let's keep that for later yeah let's yeah. first we just walk down the square plan it's also going to be quite challenging mm -hmm. door bushes are not our biggest friends rather an enemy in urbex that, that's that's why i honestly just said like yeah it's just this house because i but check this ass. Beautiful tile work, very Portuguese. Yeah, normally you would find it in the kitchen, right? Little doll. Still a, a leech or something next to it. Mm -hmm. And then again, this Portuguese design. 
It, it's definitely something Portuguese. I mean, let us know in the comment section because it has to be something Portuguese. Yeah, this is just to, st to put a vase on or something, you know, mm -hmm. just a little stand. But this design, like this shape and then the stands in between. Okay. I do think so. I do think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. What's this? Well, I saw, but it, it, it definitely looks like nothing. I mean, just an glass ornament. inside. Yeah, just an ornament. This was once a hallway, and then we have uh, two rooms. Oh, that's quite cute. <laughs> oh, how nice. Yeah, yeah. Probably used to drink a nice cup of tea or coffee over here. Very cozy room. Mint green painted walls. Quite extraordinary. Yeah, quite risky, but uh, yeah. <laughs> gotta like what you gotta like, right? The, the clock over here. Nice, uh, very nice piece. Looks like this used to spin around. Yeah, true. Like true. horses in a carousel. Now this was for glasses. Little agenda. Yep. 2003. Alright. That's already 20 years ago. Yeah. Okay, we have a name. Francisco Emilio. Francisco sounds definitely like a man. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, otherwise yeah. it would be Francisca. Francisca, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's definitely a man. We have the green chair. Con connects a little bit with the mint green. Uh, yeah, definitely matching. <laughs> yeah. I like how it's just made up. Probably done by explorers, but still, looks, uh, looks very nice. Especially love porcelain bowl over in the middle saying the peacock. What is that? A peacock is an animal. No, but the sound. This chair? Oh, okay. Thought it was a foe, man. <laughs> uh, this is an agenda from 1999. Okay. I actually thought it was a passport because it, yeah, it just looks like it. Uh... No. Well, some more frames over here. A picture of a woman. Yeah, probably a woman living inside of this place. The woman of Francisco. Hunting days. The juke and juices of Beaufort. Well, definitely some historical frames over here. Yeah. As you can tell, Porto Antico. They, so had, they, something uh, yeah, they had something with Porto. They had something with Porto, man. Again. Well, this is. No, this is Braga. Okay. Another city, not far from Porto. No, no. Some cutlery. Yep. Tough Look at that shape. tin. Look at that tin. That's so nice. Butter scotch. Just empty. Yeah, that's one just empty. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Plenty of plates. Still, still on the left. shelf. Yep. Crazy. What's that there? It's actually uh, for biscuits. Nice. Lots, uh, biscuits tin. And some cookie tins too. Probably for when the grandchildren came over or to drink with a nice cup of tea or coffee in this room. Mm -hmm. Is that a family emblem on top? Possibly. Looks like a family coat of arms. I'm not sure if it's from this family, but... Because so far, I haven't seen any signs of nobility. No, no, no. Just a farm, but probably wealthy. But, the fact is, the man was actually in the war. Yeah? I've seen a picture of him as a soldier, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, well, we can go this way. Yeah, let's, let's do this one. All right. This was their kitchen. And I'm immediately gonna say it. I'm probably also gonna say it at the end, but I do like how this is built. Yeah, for sure. It's perfect. Like, if, if, if I see this type of home right now, a square home, yeah. Yes, please. Actually, uh, it's, you have a very good overview, you know, like exactly. the orientation of where you are. Exactly, exactly. A lot of 
fee says over here, old fern man that made their way inside. Yeah, a lot man. A little fireplace, there was some burned trunks over there. Yeah, I mean, you don't even want to touch it. Probably some mice uh, jumping out. Once happened to us in the United States when exploring the we got uh, We got that, uh, don't have that footage anymore. <laughs> I see how you're opening it like Reyna was standing at the point where it's gonna open, so you will have the mouse jumping at him. No, 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 that's, that's definitely not what I was <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Rolitos, <laughs> looks quite nice. They are also quite very tasty. Nice. Yeah, they were very tasty, man. Also the tiles over here, and look at the plates, I especially love the plates. Wait. Man, let me grab that so we can have a better look. Oh. Wow. Amazingly detailed. Oriental. And I'm gonna yep. put the back. We still have the, the so we still have the cobwebs uh, on the vase. Some cafe over here. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee powder. Well. Also all our kitchen utensils are inside here. Yeah. Everything. I just like the fact that they probably once tried to clean out the place, but Never continued. Still some ceramic plates in there. Pau de Milo. Hmm. Yeah, they never uh, continued that. Well, look at this stern. It's actually a very old kitchen scale. Stern. Looks very, very vintage. <laughs> well, then let's go into this way. Yeah, we can Since do this. The corridor is beautiful. Oh yeah, it's definitely beautiful. I mean, take a look. Wow. All the wicker chairs over here. Little carpet leading the way. Continuing this room. Oh, and check this out. Got the property. This was the property in its heyday. Yeah. Crazy. Keys still hanging here as well. And check that out. It actually looks like Marie Antoinette from France. All right, you, you know that, 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 that is something I didn't know. It's a very important and well-known person from history in France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Given that I've been to France so many times, I yeah, definitely I, know Marie Antoinette. I, I know her, I know her. <laughs> no, no, I do, no, I do. Uh, <laughs> what I do like is these candles over here. Oh, yeah. They have some uh, flowers, flowers uh, inside. inside of them. Probably flower scent as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more fake flowers over here, by the way. The telephone book right next to it. It's quite nice, man. Not a picture of the view of this town, actually. Wow. I like how that's just vanished, like vacant. And you can tell the nature is really doing its job. By the way, if you see the, the ceiling, it's actually quite unique, but it also has major damage. Yeah. And also the wall, have you seen it? Yeah, very unique. Yeah. Gonna see the lot in this home. I believe it is actually real. Yeah, this is no wallpaper. This is real. That's amazing. Nice, very nice. That makes this place even more beautiful right now. Yeah, well, these are gone. <laughs> no windows anymore. <laughs> Damn. All right. We have a long stretching corridor over here. Yeah, but uh, we have to go inside of this room because that's actually where we were about to head. The dining room. And I do think this is one of the most beautiful rooms in the place. Wow. Check it out. It's crazy. Unreal, right? Very beautiful moldings on the ceiling. And the window, this is literally how we found it, it's just standing wide open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sad. We're definitely going to close it. Off a bit. Yeah. yeah, we should, man. We should. Because I don't think people. Uh, it's sad if mold or anything catches this place. Should we have some French antique furniture over here? Upholstery chair, 
If you can see the hay stuffing inside, that's a very, very antique chair. Okay. The same goes for this wooden carved chest. It, it, the pattern on this one is crazy. Wow. It's literally two dragons and the knights fighting each other. That's crazy, bro. And this was once the key lock. Oh, yeah. But now it isn't anymore. What should be inside? This one should definitely contain gold. At least something valuable. What is this? Logically, you would think that you have to actually not open it the way you're opening it, but actually bend the lid up. Or Maybe the wrong key. Well, it's turning, so... It will remain a secret, I think. I think uh, the key, it's not the right key, man. Let's leave it. Seven. We'll never find gold. <laughs> Check that out. Picture of an old family ancestor. This man completely faded because of humidity. Same goes for the frame around it. Yeah, unreal. Also look at the plate. Always the plates hanging. I really do like them. And then over here, we have one last cup hanging, but all the crystal just left. And also look at the design wow. of this one. Dragons again. Yeah. Well, actually dragons are also in the chair. If you haven't noticed yet. Yeah, exactly on the ladder. Man, and even on top here. Well, some things you would definitely find in the kitchen. A big spoon. In the dining room, you mean? Yeah, yeah, in the dining room. Wow, a lot of silverware over there. Yeah, that's definitely silver. You can easily tell. Miguel Inov. I think because this place is so secluded that nobody's actually entering, even though it's like completely open. Yeah, it's, it is completely open, I mean. But even though there is no real vandalism or theft happening to the property, Nature is doing the theft with the elements right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad to see, man. Very sad to see. Well, very French lamb in the middle as well, by the way. Yeah, and first to point out the table, man. I really do love these chairs. Like, wow, they are beautiful. But the plates and all the chinaware, it's chinaware, right? I don't know. Let's find out. Portugal, so no Chinaware. Portuguese porcelain. Sure. Oriental ornament again over here. Yeah. We've seen those elephants a lot in abandoned places mm -hmm. for some reason. Well, Amo, there are your bulls. <laughs> where they are? Oh yeah, I see them. <laughs> I don't know if you can show it to them because it's probably too shiny outside, but Check that out. Yes. There they are in the far distance. I think that's not really something to worry about. No, 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 no. So <laughs> probably they are sometimes just running around over here. Do you think so? <sighs> I always love these old liquors still standing on the tables. Exquisite liquor, Cali C. Barcelona. Old Tom Gin. Martini Rossi and... Of Duval liqueur. Amis Duval. From Marseille. France again. Yeah. So they probably also love France. Same cabinet over here or cupboards. Dragons again. Very old bottle of cognac, actually. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. All right, I can't close it up, but... Ah, thank you. And this cabinet 
also immediately grabs your eye. Wow. This is an eye catcher for sure, bro. All their crystal wear. All their crystal, the entire collection and is I still in there. Do you think if I open it up, I really need to hold the door because, well, yeah, it's not that stable anymore. That's crazy. It's completely pristine. Beautiful, right? It truly is. Well, then we actually have the main chair over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bigger than the other ones, right? Yeah, and it also has the stuffings on the side. You oh, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. The dragons is definitely coming back over here. Dragon motive. So beautiful. Then there was only one little side room that was connected with the kitchen, but we walked around it. I think they used to do their ironing and stuff here. Oh yeah, It was yeah, like yeah. a little side kitchen, you know? Yeah, it was a little side kitchen. Also for storage, you can definitely tell. Maybe they also had a little maid working here for them. Could have been, man. Nice. Fridge, Sonics. Sonics. I've never seen that brand. Me neither. Sonics. Maybe Portuguese? I don't know. Doesn't sound Portuguese though. No, it doesn't. Continue away through this long stretching corridor. You can see the walls again. They've been beautifully painted with stone. We have a little bedroom over here with a Sigma sewing machine. The floor is not super stable over here. No, it doesn't feel that stable at all. So the machine's nah, not working anymore. It's not working anymore indeed. Again, the wife of Mr. Francisco. Beautiful woman actually. Truly. She also looks very happy. Yeah. Very joyful. Damn the floor. Well look at this person, bro. That's dating from ages ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also looks like Wow, 1905. Damn. Rio de Janeiro, actually in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. So I think the family actually was from Brazil. And maybe all their family members are in Brazil right now. And that's why maybe nobody's coming back for the property anymore. Could be. And they just Could lost the interest. Check this out, also very vintage from Porto. And what is it? I don't know what used to go inside. Well, if you know One it's... One liter, it says. Leave it down in the comment section. I do think it's coffee, actually. That could be the case, for sure. Damn. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can just really hear the floor squeaking over here. Well, yeah. Actually, some more frames over here. And it looks like we also have a diploma. Dominicus is actually a religious diploma from the apostles, the nobility apostles. Okay. Saint Emilia. What's that? Not a very old frame. 
And this chest looks crazy as well. That's definitely not containing gold. I think it's not even open. Oh, it is opening. It's heavy. It's actually from New York, bro, from Brooklyn. Really? Sydney Schwartz. Very cool furniture in there, actually. Yeah, really, really, really special. Something from all from over the world. All over the world, yeah. Imagine a long way that that chest actually has made to come here. Unreal, man. All the way in the secluded place in the Portuguese mountains. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Because and then imagine in the back in those years, there was not even globalization like there is now. <laughs> no, no, no. Same goes for... This is also not from here. You see where this is? This is probably somewhere in... Brazil, I think. Yeah, Brazil. Well, it... Rainforest it, of Brazil. It, it, it contains some... So we sell some African American people. African American people, yeah. but it can also be the indigenous population of Brazil. Mm -hmm. Like there are a lot of people over there. Seventy-two. I think it's definitely Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scans over here. Ooh, another frame. Maybe family ancestor. I definitely think so. Probably Brazilian as well. Another bedroom. Check that out. It's definitely the eye catcher of this room. Yeah. For and real. SDR. Beautiful Mary statue. Wow. It's amazing. And where you can tell they still have the pillows on those two benches right in front of the windows. I understand why they love to have a seat here. Since this would be their view. And what have you found, Raymond? Um, this is a medical bill from 2003, so probably abandoned since 2003. And a name um, is. Nilza, yeah, it says N Nilga or Nilza, Cavallo Sosa, yeah, you can see it, but don't show him. Nilza, yeah. Nilza. Nil Nilza Burkadea. I do think she was definitely um, from a foreign country, not Portuguese, I think. This was actually a card for a consultation she had in the hospital. Yeah, right? It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so probably the woman passed away, like, the latest over here, the last inhabitant. And actually inside of this room, it's so beautiful. Because as you can tell, right over there are still all the clothes just hanging. And I'll tell you, some proper uh, expensive clothes, man. Because yeah. also over here, we have this fur one. Wow. You can tell they definitely were wealthy. Oh yeah, they definitely were wealthy. I they mean, had beautiful clothes. On the other side, there are even some more. Wealthy people, man, wealthy people. This place is really untouched, bro, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like not many people have actually been through the stuff, you know. Another aerial photo picture of this property this is where we came we explored the chapel this was a shed then we walked actually down here to the house and entered over here we walked around and we're now in this part of the home yeah. this little corridor that's some good topography yeah <laughs> actually great Everybody. When I walked in here, I, I was scared, man. I thought there was somebody. I mean, yeah, it's always a little bit scary, right? When those blankets are laying like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, but it's, it's just. A Remember blanket. that one time we were in Canada and they actually put like this fake-looking human uh, mannequin yeah, yeah, underneath yeah, yeah, the blankets. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was scary as hell. 
Man, if you do that, you really want to troll explorers for real. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the footage anymore. But you know what happened in that place as well, right? Yeah, we got caught. We got caught badly. Yeah. So yeah. I do think it was the people that don't want you to go inside. They actually blocked our car, put two cars, one in front, one in the back, called the cops on us, yeah. investigation with the cops, but they luckily let us go. Yeah. We've, ne we've never been inside, sir. No, what are you talking sir. about? Whoa. Check that out. Religion was very important, but like they had the money for it, so it's normally you just find like I wasn't expecting a little shrine to be inside this cabinet. Yeah man. Still the Bible open on some page. Incredible. That that's what I also really love, like how it exposes in between wealth like if you're wealthy people really show their appreci appreciation and their uh, minds towards religion back then and like other people too but they would go uh, to the, the local the, church and exactly. those people had it in their own place the, they, they had a private, private church chapel. private chapel yeah, yeah, yeah even a private priest like pastor to do the readings and the prayers unreal like unreal Another chest. Well, blankets. Always when I open it, there are blankets. Washing towels. Damn. Whoa. Oh, I'm right with this place, man. I can't believe it's just open. The curtains are blowing in the winds. And the scenery is so freaking beautiful. Yeah. Definitely one of the very best I've ever seen inside from an abandoned, abandoned place. Uh, property, for sure. All the ties over here, all the clothes as well. And even more ties over there. So yeah, this was from the man, huh? For sure. Well. One more moment to appreciate the view. <laughs> Can't Sorry. stop looking at it. Well, the world. Oh, there she is again. Oh yeah. I do really think that this was the last inhabitant. What was her name again? Um. Igres or something. No, 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 no. She, she had a specific name. Oh wow. Probably, uh, daughter or granddaughter yeah it was probably the daughter oh well, look at this some echoes yeah yeah looks like from pregnancy maybe and it's actually uh, to see the blood flow all right so probably also a bad health condition Nicoledo cigar box and look Jane Austen very old book from her you know that one? No, but I definitely know Jane Austen. I want to see the year. Volume 11. Should 1957. Wow, that's crazy. Probably a collector's item right now, don't you think For so? For sure, man. <laughs> that's definitely a collector's item. Give it a few more decades and when that book is a century old, people are definitely paying some money for it. Glasses. glasses that was the picture right of the daughter yeah that was the picture of the daughter you can also tilt this mirror yep looks Ooh. like some kind of personal identity card francisco it's it's the man right it was what is it yeah it's the man um uh that's the biblioteca it's uh Library, library cards. cards yeah. yeah, you can tell they definitely like reading. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, the other side of the bedroom, it was just a very close walk to actually enter the bathroom. You can tell that leaves have just blown inside through that little aperture of the window. Yep. Must even inside the bathtub and all their grooming products still here. Unreal, man. 
I'll slip a few. Eau de toilette. Crazy. You can see all the paint peeling from the doors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been abandoned for quite a while actually. Yeah, it's so crazy that even the windows are just widely open that it's not like in a very bad, bad condition, you know? All right. Well, actually, let's first check out the room right in front of us. Yeah? Yeah, check that out. What a beauty, bro. Yeah. This is a very special room. Wow. Never seen a bed like this. Me neither. And this style, right? Is it? Oh yeah. Bro, that's copper. That's like fully made out of copper. It's probably... Check out the walls as well and the ceiling. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, bro. wow. This is one of the most heaviest bed I've ever seen. Imagine that place uh, in here. This is a beautiful bedroom. Yeah. Probably one of the master bedrooms. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I do think they had a child over here. You can definitely tell, little baby. Little baby crib. So probably the girl we saw in the picture, she grew up here? Yeah, where was the granddaughter? Since the photo didn't look super old. No, no, no. <laughs> look at the little creepy doll just chilling over here on this very antique pillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody definitely placed that over there. Actually, a lot of paperwork over here. And also look at the very chic gloves over yeah, here. From the yeah, yeah. I don't see that actually that that often, you know. Definitely not. Another name over here, probably his son, Antonio Montero. All right, all right. It's from 2011, I believe. Where do you see that? 20 slash, oh, well, that's probably the month. Yeah, I do think so. I do think so, yeah. Because I don't think that this place was still inhabited in 2011, man. Me, uh, Biblica. Yeah, that's a Bible. Ah. All right, small Bible. Oh, only some pictures. Check this out. Little napkin. Also religious. Very nice. What do you think? Oh, well, no. A lot more religious things over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all for religion, man. All right. Yeah. As you can tell right over here. It's just some things for the bed. Yeah. Beautiful bathroom. For sure, man. Wow. And I do think in this room, that's where I actually wanted to head, we find something very sad. As you can tell, that the woman was of older age and she probably had a bad health condition. Wheelchair over here. Wow, check out the ceiling and the walls again. Again, very unique, right? The walls and the ceilings are only getting better and better all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there is actually another diploma over here on the grounds of the Republic of Portugal. From 1969. And what was it for? It was for Francisco. Republic. And he did a course of Asima Referido or something like that. He actually got it on my birthday, the 1st of October, 1969. Nice. <laughs> Still with some Portuguese postage stamps in it as well. <laughs> to make it official. Bro, but can you imagine? Some more religious frames all over this room i mean can you just imagine sitting right over here 
And I'm looking at this view. Yeah, we already mentioned it so many times, bro. <laughs> it's like the sixth time we're mentioning it right now. Sorry. I think people get the point. <laughs> but they need to see it with their own eyes, right? I mean, the camera is not doing it justice in this case. It's no. even more incredible to see the real. Yeah, just some clothes. But is it on the right side another shrine? Where? Over here. No, no, no. It's just for storage. Just some shelves, okay. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Damn. That wheelchair where it's close to fall down. Another corridor. Nice windows in the roof. Yeah. Double bedroom over here. Wow. And there are so many bedrooms in this place. You could tell that the family was massive. Yeah, it was a big family uh, living in here. 1995. I don't know who these people actually are, but... Maybe politicians or something? Yeah. We can't know since we're not Portuguese or Brazilian. <laughs> Baby picture. Man smoking a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the, yeah. the, the grandfather yeah, or the, the father of yeah. Mr. Francisco. Exactly. And then some beautiful beds. And actually, look at the nightstand. Yeah, what is it over there? It was actually for stamps and has to do with religion as well. Mm, nice. That's precious. Okay, and then attached to the bedroom, it was again not a very far walk to the ballroom. Towel still hanging up here. Leaves again and have coming in, yeah. through this little aperture. And I have a feeling that somebody actually put the windows a little bit open. So there is some ventilation inside and there will not be a lot of growth of mold inside the property. Mm -hmm. oh, the water is not running anymore. No, it's definitely not running. Uh, sadly enough, man. <laughs> well, to wash your feet. Your bidet? Bidet, yeah. Well, no, actually not your feet. Not the feet. What? Your, uh, After you, that's your poopy poopy. You wash your tutti tutti. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember that I said it at the feet. beginning of our vertical trip. <laughs> I just can't imagine somebody washing the poopy poopy in with water, okay? I'm sorry. We just use toilet we, paper. What are we doing in the shower? <laughs> Okay guys, be amazed by the main room of this place. We just put on the light as well. And first of all, look at all the incredible moldings on the ceiling. That's Mind blowing. Beautiful, right? Yeah, we're definitely standing in the salon, the main room of this place. Very Majestic drapes over here. You can tell that they definitely spent attention and styling this room. Oh yeah, they definitely did, man. We have a very Portuguese wooden bench over here. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Also, look at the pillow over there. It's almost completely uh, Destroyed, but still, the design is very beautiful. Yeah, you can still see some of the old design on it. The case of a grandfather clock. Unfortunately, that's uh, gone. The actual clock is gone, yeah. And then some very old portraits over here. And some gilded frames. Very neat, man. I think this was definitely... Family ancestor. Yeah, and I think actually like grandmothers or mothers of the last family living here. Well, and then this over here. This was definitely important person. I, you can tell that he was most likely to be a pastor or a priest, mm -hmm. a holy man. And like you say over here, I think this is actually Mr. Francisco and this is his daughter. And this was actually on her, her wedding day. Yeah. He was proudly yeah. giving her away to her new man. Mm -hmm. Well, 
she looks very royal to me. Yeah, she <laughs> like, even has a little crown. A little crown. I was thinking that it was like a princess of Portugal. Uh, this is actually uh, from a photography studio. Looks like some kind of conference. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the Portuguese flag. There is something inside of here. Violetta is it saying. We also found it in one of the drawers. Soap. soap. Nice. A nice oh, bar of soap. Smell it. Ooh, that's good. It's very good. Yeah, that's very nice, man, actually. So right now we're going to do a giveaway, guys. <laughs> like this video and maybe you will win this exclusive Portuguese soap. Ex absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely no, we, we not. We always leave everything inside these places. Even when it's really nothing of value. But this is a very nice secretary's desk. A lot of different compartments. Fan. Fan, yeah. Quite broken, though. Yeah, it's definitely broken, man. A little purse. Nothing inside, right? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not gonna move this. No, no, you should it's, not. You should not. This glass is also broken from this frame, and I do not want it to fall down. No, 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 you should not try that. Man. Actually, we were talking about the walls all the time. And this room, it was actually wallpaper. You can see how it's peeling over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell. Uh, but it's quite beautiful. It's really beautiful. And then this, yeah, the lamp right over there. Also some cool design. But embroidery. what I wanted to pan out, what is this, Mo? This is actually, I believe, the history of the family name. Historia do apellido da familia. It's actually written in, is this Portuguese? It should be no. Portuguese, right? Yeah, it's Portuguese, yeah, but it looks quite Spanish too. It's from 1995, but it was registered in 1740. And you see Portuguese and Brazilian roots, yeah. Yeah, so they were actually noble family. Well, and- Pimentel was the family name, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's actually quite cool. There is a dragon right on top, as you can tell. Ah, and so they had that furniture. Yeah, they had that furniture handcrafted, man. In the main Oops. dining room. Yeah, and, and I also saw the name Pimentel somewhere. So the longer we're exploring, the more puzzle pieces are falling together now. Exactly, exactly. Well, we have one last little corner over here. Some more drapes with doors leading to the outside. And another photo again, aerial picture of the property. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. And then a little bit grumpy looking lady is displayed in another frame over there. She doesn't look as friendly at all. Less friendly than the most yeah. ancestors we've seen so far in the portraits and frame. Little statue. And yeah, for the rest, we just have this little table over here where you could have a nice seat with a plate still on top where they probably would serve some nice tapas or some things with ashtray over here. Yeah. Small bell. To call uh, the maid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. All right. Portuguese, Brazilian roots. So let's continue our way to the final part. And then we already came back to the main point where we entered. And this was clearly the library part and the office of Mr. Francisco. You can tell he liked hunting, like we said. We have some bullets over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have a lot of old pictures and we can see that probably he or his father used to be in the war. I actually think it's him. It looks like him, right? Yeah. Some more old photos. That's probably him too, standing in the garden. Damn. And there are some more pictures. Yeah, those are some more newer ones, probably from the 2000s. When he was older, you see? Yeah, yeah, I see. Wearing his suit, looks like a very well-studied man, wealthy man, well-to-do man. You see, it looks like he was also involved in the municipality or the government. Hmm. 
People live big back then, man. If you can come over here. <coughs> Check this out over here. Whoa. Where they could do some ink pots. And then what is that? Maybe to put some receipts in or something. Yeah. Or, some, or a notebook. Crazy. Zoom in on this. Yeah, right. The design of that one. Lusticinos. It's written on there. All right, all right. Well, we have a lot of books, and you know that we like going through very old volumes. Hmm. Maybe these ones. I'm curious. They look these. quite new. This is at least from 1928. Just looking through the books, but it seems that those ones are this one maybe. Them on the package. Hmm. Well, this is a very little one. It's the one from 1928. And what does it say? Actually, it's songs for the church. Nice, nice. Well, actually, I do think those are all encyclopedias from yeah. volume one up to when including volume 15. <laughs> well, this is quite cool. Wait, wait, wait. I do think that the book uh, is just about history. Well, it's a history book. I, I saw 970 after Christ. So. They're not really very, very old volumes over here. No, man. Like the oldest ones, I think, are still over here, man. This is again 1940. It's about story in Lisbon. Tragica. It's just story reading books, but no really old dictionaries. Or very ancient medical books or encyclopedias to find. <coughs> Elements of the history of arts from a local library in Lisbon. Livraria e Papaleria. The title again. This looks quite old, but there is not a year. No. Definitely looks quite old. It definitely does, right? Wow. Almost 700 pages in such a little book. Crazy. All right, well, then let's head to the other side. And as you can see, plenty more books over there. Ah, thank you. Well. And if you think that this is actually a sign of vandalism, it's not. Since this plank has just fallen. Yep, and these were all the books that were ones over there. Now littering the floor. Oh, that's cool. There's some pictures. Yeah. You can tell definitely uh, with some other very wealthy important uh, people yeah yeah maybe we export the abandoned place of someone else in that picture <laughs> yeah who knows there are a lot of places in this area for sure Damn. I think those picture. are all like wear jewelry boxes but you These can tell are all of them are all empty they are always empty man there were some kind of metals or plaques inside one of the little things that if a place is so untouched, people Wait, have taken the valuables. Oh, Whoa. this cover looks very, very old. Wait, there are cool webs on the camera. I'm gonna try to hold it in the light over here. As you can see, very old cover. Very decayed. Oh yeah, well decayed, man. 1965. You spotted the oldest book we found so far, Raymond. Good job. Wait, 1865. 19, uh, 1865. 1865. Sorry, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Let's see. Looks like it's just a reading book with different stories inside. Damn. I'm real, man. All right, and finally, let's head through the corridor over here. You can again see 
how branches of the shrubbery in the inner courtyard are coming in, making their way in. Chandelier over here. Yeah, fallen down. It was actually hanging up right over there. Oh yeah, as you can see right over there, yeah. <laughs> and look what they did, bro. They placed a stick between here to prevent these windows from blowing open because the locks probably don't work anymore. <laughs> like what? <laughs> It's a it's a good solution, good <laughs> solution, so... All right, well, follow me to the last part. We're gonna head to the inner courtyard and see what we can find in the sheds. I'm actually quite curious if they were also involved in viticulture. I do think so, man. I also think so. But let's find out. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> bumped into you. <laughs> All right, yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do, huh? <sighs> do you guys remember the video where I was telling about my jeans? Like, the soft ones? Guess what I'm wearing today? <sighs> the shed is open, luckily. But those stores are definitely not friendly. You don't want to walk into this one, so be cautious because that's a serious one where you take one. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> well, just a little shed part over here. Yeah. Just a lot of chats, but. No wine caskets or barrels yet. Hasn't been found yet. Maybe the other one. Maybe the other one or there is also, well, over here is a barrel. This might be the first time. Looking scale over here. Yeah. Helvetia. Bro. Check this out. <laughs> wow. That's some big boy, huh? Some massive barrels over here. Ooh, dust coming off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Here's your conclusion, man. Where a part of the world came from. Yeah, there were definitely some big barrels. Yeah, bro. And I see some more ones on the other side as well. Okay, I'm excited, bro. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, they did another professional Ooh. scale. Also a lot of bottles, bro. Yeah, the bottles right over there. And also, the cork stamp over here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember you demonstrated it once. Yeah, man. We'll show it to them how it gets a little uh, more tiny, the, the hole. Clop. And then it's in. Another one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they definitely did What was did this it, thing they? for? Probably to move the barrels, right? From place to place. I do think so, yeah. I do think so. Does it also have some wheels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Primus. Isn't that a Belgian beer? A single burner stove. No, this is a stove. Oh, I was thinking about Primus Haagt. <laughs> <laughs> but check this out, guys. I believe the wines that they produced are still inside of here. <sighs> what a dust, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but they're well, empty. The bottles. Yeah, they're empty. This was the bottle. And the name. Adria Adeja Cooperativa de, I don't know, no. but this was the sign. Yep. Don't know if the wine still exists, but I do not think so. <laughs> and there you can tell the wine uh, machine. All right, man. We well, did it, bro. Yeah, yeah. 
I need to say uh, that was uh, the thing you wanted to find, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's always nice to end up with something, you know, like we hadn't checked this out yet, so it was a complete surprise. But uh, yeah, we ended up seeing another intriguing historical beauty in Portugal. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed this time travel again with us. We want to thank Francisco and his family for an insight in their very interesting and rich family history today. We found a lot of furniture from all over the world. Antiques, historical mementos. This place had a lot, just not a piano. No, no. But uh, for the rest, amazing, it was, uh, right? It was amazing, man. All right, and uh, I would say uh, I really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Uh, you just said it, and if you know the drill, then like, subscribe, and comment right down below. Also, leave your uh, opinion. Yeah, like I said, in the comment section. And as always, I want to thank you for watching to another episode. And Raymond and I will see you on the next adventure in Portugal. Peace out.